Welcome to this biology lesson. Uh, this lesson is about looking at plant as an organism and how uh, the plant organism is built from cells. Cells, tissues, organs, organ systems and organism. And that we're going to apply that uh, sequence to plants to understand how the same thing works for plants as well. In the previous lesson you have seen how the same sequence uh, build up of an organism from cells works in animals we're going to now see for plants how the same thing same thing works as you can see here readily you've got lots of organs that makes up the plant the stem the leaf leaf is a perfect example of an organ which we're going to look at uh, later on in this video you have flower is, is an organ and as you know, definition for organ is it, it should be made up of different types of tissues, but doing a common job. Root, again, is another example of an organ. It's got a specific function. It's made up of different types of tissues. So we're going to be specifically focusing on the leaf as an organ and how that organ is made up of tissues, which are in turn made up of similar types of cells. So let's have a look at the leaf structure to start with and leaf as you know is an example of a plant organ which is what we're going to be looking at. An example of an organ uh, but we're going to be looking at how the leaf is made up of different types of tissues. So here as you can see they're all the same type of cell, group of cells, similar structure and function we know that is a tissue. So that is a specific type of tissue. We're going to be looking at the labels and names in a moment. But I'm just identifying these tissues for now. Have a look at these top layer of cells. They look like they don't have any chloroplasts and they are transparent to light. So they, and, and they're also these cells are all very similar in structure and function. That's one type of tissue. Here, uh, irregular, Ill, irregularly shaped cells here with lots of spaces in between them. So this forms uh, another type of tissue, another major type of tissue. Here, the blue cells are seem to be organized in, in a semicircular fashion here. Uh, they're not colored blue uh, in, in reality, but it's colored in the diagram just to show where they are. So these cells are a specific type of cell which carries, uh, which, is, uh, uh, which is a tube-shaped uh, tissue called xylem which carries water into the leaves so water is needed for photosynthesis and that's its job and that's a specific type of tissue this is another type of tissue this carries the food that's made in the leaf elsewhere to other other parts of the plant so and then you have the lower epidermis which also contains the pores through which gases can come inside so this is another pore you can see it leads outside so the air can move in gases can move out of the leaf by diffusion what you see here is a cross section of a leaf which illustrates why leaf is an organ made up of different types of special tissues which are in turn made up of special cells now if you look at the upper epidermis here um, which is the top layer of the leaf, it's completely transparent to light. This allows, uh, this serves as a covering for the rest of the leaf, leaf cells, it's a protective layer. And above that you've also got cuticle, which is a waterproof layer. This prevents water from evaporating. So that is cuticle, which is not labeled here. which is uh, a waterproof layer, stops water from evaporating uh, through the top of the leaf or escaping through the top of the leaf. You have uh, the transparent upper epidermis which allows maximum light to reach these cells. These cells are the most important ones in the leaf because that's the ones, uh, these are the ones which does the job of the leaf, the main job of the leaf being photosynthesis. Now they are called palisade layer. Each cell is called a palisade cell they contain more chloroplast than any other cell in the leaf. So that enables them. They're also arranged in this way with, to maximize the surface area exposed to the sunlight. So as you can see, they are uh, vertically arranged cells and they are 
very closely packed as well to to use to absorb maximum sunlight that passes through the top of the leaves so that's palisade layer and it's got this special adaptation containing many chloroplast you also have xylem vessels which are dead cells arranged end to end with no nothing in the middle so they form tube like structures that brings the water to the leaves and also they they are connected to the, straight from the root up until uh, the leaf to transport the water as you know water is needed by all these cells for photosynthesis so that's transported by xylem vessels you have phloem vessels uh, which are again tube like cells but they are living cells these are dead ones which are strong cellulose walls even strengthened further especially uh, so these cells are phloem cells they are living cells they transport food particularly glucose made in the leaf uh, transported to other parts such as the roots to be stored so phloem transports food and you have this layer of cells uh, tissue made up of these special cells called spongy layer uh, and as you can see there's lots of space between them and they are irregularly shaped these cells are so this is for a particular purpose this adaptation helps to for the air to diffuse into the leaves through all these cells and to reach the palisade cell and it's important that air can reach all these cells for photosynthesis because air contains carbon dioxide so the carbon dioxide can reach all these cells another important feature of this layer is because air can just go around each cell here because there's space uh, around each cell this maximizes the surface area exposed for air so the carbon dioxide has got more surface area or maximum surface area to diffuse into each of these cells and also to diffuse to the top palisade layer so this layer provides maximum surface area i'm talking about the spongy layer here and also they allow the air and gases to diffuse in and out of the leaf easily because of the air spaces that facilitates the air movement uh, much easily than closely packed cells and so how does the air enter the leaf itself you have the lower epidermis here with pores as you can see here over here and over here these are the stomata uh, which allows the air to enter by diffusion into the leaves and particularly gases such as carbon dioxide diffuse into the cells and oxygen that's made during photosynthesis by all these photosynthesizing cells have to move and diffuse out of the leaf because there's a higher concentration and a lower concentration here they diffuse out of the leaves uh, and this these are the pores by which that through which that happens so as you can see one organ which is the leaf is made up of different tissues and you can also see to each tissue is made up of sa same type of cells which have same structure very similar structure and similar function as you can see the xylem tissues phloem tissues and uh, spongy layer uh, spongy cells and this forms a tissue and you also have the lower epidermis so the collection of these perform a common job which is photosynthesis